Good morning, YouTube. I am Bearded Inc. And as you can see from the title above me, today we're going to teach you how to make a YouTube bot account that you can use on your live streams and in StreamerBot. Uh, now, a bot account is the same thing as a moderator, just like it is on Twitch. And we'll need those permissions in StreamerBot to perform certain actions like sending a message to the channel. Uh, but we're going to cover everything you need to do, how to set it up, how to go through and, and give it moderator status. And then, of course, add it to streamer bot. So without further ado, let's just get started. All right. So if you go to the platforms tab in streamer bot, you will know that's where you sign in as your broadcaster account. And then, of course, there is also the bot account. Um, but unlike Twitch, uh, you do have to have a few extra steps. So we are going to cover those all in detail right now. So the first thing we have to do is we have to actually make the account. So we're going to go to YouTube. And as you can see here, we're in YouTube. We're, we're logged in and we are on the primary account page. Uh, so for me, it's Bearded Inc. This is my primary account page. And uh, the login up here, you can see in the top right corner is the little avatar for me. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this. And when you open this up, uh, this menu here is gonna give you a little bit of information about your stuff. You can do a whole bunch of different little things. Um, but what we want to do is we want to switch account, okay? And we're gonna click on this, it's gonna open this up. Now, for every primary account that you have on YouTube, you can have up to 10 other accounts that are connected to the same email address. So as you can see here, like I've done uh, uh, my primary email address, if you need to contact me for sponsorships or anything of that nature, <clears throat> that's what you would use. Uh, and then of course there's the primary account. Uh, and then there is the bot accounts that I have made and you can view more. And then if you have any other primary accounts uh, connected, they will be shown all below. But we're gonna to go to the very, very bottom down here where it says add account and sign out. We're gonna click on add an account. So after you click that, uh, it's gonna bring you into a sign in. So if you have an email address that is not uh, already connected to YouTube, you can log in here. It'll ask you for your username or the full email uh, and then your password. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take the extra step to say that you don't have one and we're just going to create one from scratch for you. So we're going to come down here next to the next, next to the next button uh, and cr click on create account. And then you get to pick what it's for. We're just going to say it's for personal use uh, where then we're going to have to create this person. So for here, us, uh, we're just going to say it is the bearded robot. That is his name. Uh, and then we're going to have to give him a birthday and a gender. Uh, so we're just going to pick a month and we'll just say he was born on Christmas day, uh, in the year 1999. Why not? Uh, and then, uh, of course it'll be male for our robot. You can pick female or rather not say, or click, uh, custom if you want to type in something rather specific. Uh, but for this, it's going to work for our needs. So now we're going to come over here and click next. Uh, and then we get to come in and create our email. Uh, if you, again, already have an email account that is not connected to a YouTube uh, username in any way, shape, or form, you can use that here. Um, uh, but we're going to, again, get an email. So what will happen is when you click on that, it'll give you two options here uh, that you can use right away, or you can create your own. So if you don't like any of the options there, you just create your own. Uh, and this one, we're just going to call it uh, bearded bot for YouTube uh, at gmail.com. And we're going to click next. And then we're going to give it a password. And they have to match, of course. And then we'll click on next. Uh, and then add a recovery email. This should be your primary email account, uh, of course, there. Uh, you can skip it if you like to, but adding a recovery in case you happen to forget what the login was or whatever, uh, this will be a way to get back in. So I highly recommend 
that you add a recovery email, just make it the same email as your primary account. And then we're going to click on next here. Uh, and then here's our stuff. We're going to say, yep, we like what we see there and we're going to click okay. And then we get to come down here, all of the crap and agree to their terms. Um, and then confirm personalization, personalization settings are turned on, uh, all this stuff, basic account setup things that you can do. Uh, if you don't want to turn any of them on, you can come down here. Uh, don't save my web activity. Don't show me ads or you know, personalized ads. Don't save my YouTube history. Uh, send me you know, more information, blah, 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 whatever you want to do. So you make those decisions on your own. You're going to click agree. And then it's going to create your account and it's going to automatically sign in to your account. So if we look back here, uh, you can see that I don't have my icon anymore. I have no history. I have no playlists. I have nothing to watch later. I have no liked videos because this is a brand new account. We still have one more thing to do. We have to create a channel for this bot. So this bot will need its own YouTube channel so that we can have a YouTube address for it. So we're going to come back over here to our little icon and we're going to create a channel. And then this is where you give it a name. Uh, you can give it a handle if you like. Uh, we're just going to remove all of this because you can have your own thing. Uh, this one is not available. So we're going to go, we're going to add the YouTube to it. Um, and so your handle name is what it's going to show up as in chats and comments and things like that. Uh, the name on the account is just the name. You can select your avatar for it here if you like. Uh, and then we're just going to click down here on create channel and we're going to give it a couple of minutes to do its thing. So once it is done, now we have an at that we can use uh, to come to our channel. Uh, we can customize the channel if you want to customize it anymore. Uh, this will take you into the studio mode. Uh, so we want to come down here. You have the handle, your pronouns, your description. And in the description, I like to put that I am a robot account for uh, like I am a robot account for at bearded ink when he is live every Saturday at noon, right? Or whatever you want to say, just, you know, a little same shameless self promotion, right? Never hurts to have your name in any other areas. So once you're done with all of that, uh, we click on publish and then we can view our channel. And then, so here's our channel. Obviously we have no anything, right? Uh, but what we do have is an address. So let's go ahead and we're going to copy the URL uh, or just uh, the name if you happen to remember it. If you're bad at memorizing things though, go ahead and just copy the entire URL, all right? And then we need to go back to our main page. So we're going to click on here. We're going to go back to switch account and we're going to go to our primary account. Okay. And then, so once we're, once we're back on our primary account, uh, then we need to add the new bot as a moderator in our channel. And to do that, we need to go to the YouTube studio. So we'll close this tab so I can show you how over on the right here under the U section, uh, you can get to it by going to your videos or anything like that. So we're just going to click on your videos because that's the quickest, easiest way. And so now, you can see we're in studio and we're going to stay on this left hand side, but we're going to come all the way down and we're going to click on settings. And that's going to give us this little pop up here where you can go through and change various settings as you like. But the one we're interested in, uh, the one we're interested in is community. So we're going to click on community and it's going to bring us over to the uh, automated filters tab. And the first two sections here are for standard moderators or adding a managing moderator. Now, what this means is that uh, a standard moderator can do moderation actions, such as uh, control of the comments on your posted videos or your live chat. Uh, and then the managing moderator also has those permissions, but they have the additional capability of uh, being able to control uh, your banned words list, as well as change the chat uh, style in your live stream. So this is what we want our 
robot to be for streamer bot. Uh, if you have like a human that's helping you moderate your live streams and your channel, uh, you just want to make them a standard moderator. Uh, but we're just going to paste the channel URL uh, in here. So we already copied it or you can type it out if you like. There he is. So once it comes up, <laughs> you, you might have to press enter or wait for it to find the account because it is a brand new account. But uh, yeah, so once it comes up, we're just going to click on that and then you'll see it'll change it to its name uh, there and we can add more if we like. We're just going to come down here and we're going to click on save. All right. So now we have a bot account. We have it moderated in YouTube. So now we have to go to StreamerBot to add the bot account there. So we're going to open up StreamerBot back to our original page where we have our bot account here. Um, and again, the input box is read only. So there's nothing you can do uh, in there. But we do want to go ahead and click the auto connect. And then we're going to sign in with Google. And then it's going to ask us to pick an account. Uh, and then there is our new account. We're going to click on that. We're going to say continue. We're going to give it all the permissions it needs and say continue. And then we are logged in successfully so we can close this tab. And if we do that, now you can see that the name is input in the box. So there's bearded robot. So now all of our stuff for our actions, sub actions, our send messages to channel through streamer bot will come from the bearded robot account and that's it so pretty quick pretty simple like i said unlike twitch there are a few other steps but it's basically the same thing create a new account on the b service so in this case youtube as opposed to twitch uh make the account a moderator in your channel and then connect that account to streamer bot and from there you can now use your bot account instead of your broadcaster account for most of your sub actions and things of that nature going on in your live streams. All right. Hope you have found that useful. If you did, go ahead and give me a little thumbs up because it makes me feel good. Uh, if you want to learn more, click that subscribe button down below. Click the notification bell. Know when I post new tutorials or go live. And if you have any other further questions, please stop by the live streams. We do go live every Saturday afternoon. Uh, where we answer your questions in chat and I show you everything right there on the screen, how to, to do it and we get your questions solved. If you have a question about this particular topic, you don't have to wait for a Saturday to roll around. Just leave a comment down below with your question and I will answer it. I try to answer every comment that comes through on my channel. Um, and if you need even more assistance or more help, I am for hire or you can join our discord where we have a large help section uh, there for you to post your screenshots and problems in and we can we can get you sorted that way as well. Um, but yeah, thank you all for being part of the show again. And I hope you liked it. If you didn't like it, leave me the thumbs down. Go ahead and do it. Click the thumbs down if you didn't like this tutorial. All I ask is that if you give me a thumbs down, leave a comment down below and let me know why you didn't like the video. That way, moving forward, I can make some changes to give you the best tutorials possible. Um, but beyond that, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next one, everybody, thank you again for being a part of the show. You matter. Take care of yourself. Self-care is important. And until next time, love, peace, and chicken grease.